Hello guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about the package management in Linux. A package is basically a compressed archive which contains the files associated with a specific software like the compiled binaries and libraries plus metadata and instructions about where and how those files should be installed on the system. In CentOS 8, those packages are organized in something called repositories. Repository is a storage location from which your system retrieves and installs the applications. Each repository is a collection of software hosted on a remote server and intended to be used for installing and updating software packages on Linux systems. Before the release of CentOS 8, for the package management, we used RPM that stands for Red Hat Package Manager and YUM that stands for Yellow Dog Optator Modified. We can still use both of them, RPM and YUM in our CentOS 8, but I rarely use the RPM. I'm always using YUM to install and update my uh, software packages. One advantage of RPM over YUM is that using the RPM, we can install and use multiple versions of software package. For example, let's say if we are using the Python version 3, and if there is a Python version 4 available, using the RPM, we can install and use both Python version 3 and Python version 4 simultaneously but using the yum we can only use one version of the software package so if we are using the Python version 3 and if there is a Python version 4 available if you don't want to use the Python version 4 then you can keep using the Python version 3 without updating the package but if you update or install the new Python version then the old Python version will be gone and you can only use the latest version of the command. I like to use the latest version, so I never really keep the multiple versions of the same command. So we use RPM and YUM before the CentOS version 8, but now with the new version of CentOS 8, YUM is based on DNF technology. So the YUM package manager has been replaced by the DNF package manager. If we type which YUM, this which command is used to locate the executable file associated with the given command. So if we use which yum then it will show you the path or the location where the executable file of this yum command is. So let's press the enter. So you can see uh, the location for the yum executable file is slash user slash bin. So let's go to that location cd slash user slash bin and if we type ls let's give the l attribute and then yum then here's the yum file and as you can see here there is a symbolic link pointing to dnf3 that is in the centos 8 even if we are using the yum command actually we are using the dnf command so if you check the path for the dnf command then it's the same path that is bin directory so if we type the ls with the l attribute and the dnf command so you can see both dnf and yum are pointing to dnf3 so that is either we use the dnf command or the yum command the dnf package is going to be used and the reason that yum has been replaced with dnf is because of its advantages over the yum dnf package is written in c c++ and python while the yum package is written only in python so yum supports only the python based extension but dnf supports various extensions. The API of dnf is fully documented and it's so easy to create new features but the yum API is not fully documented and it is very difficult to create the new features. Another benefit of dnf is that it uses less memory when synchronizing the metadata of the repositories but the yum uses excessive memory when synchronizing the metadata. And there are some other benefits of DNF in terms of uh, package update and its dependencies. But let's just understand that DNF is currently used in Fedora, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 and CentOS 8. So YUM has been obsolete and it's replaced with the DNF package manager. So you can still use YUM but it's same as using the DNF. So I suggest you to start practice with the DNF command. So let's first clear the screen 
If you want to see the list of all the installed packages in your system, you can use the command dnf list installed and let's see it using the less terminal. You can see we have lots of packages in our system. Let's press Q to quit. Now to see the list of repositories, you can use the command dnf repo list. So we have following repositories in our system and these repositories contains all the packages that we need to install any command or application. If you want to see the information about any of the packages, then you can use dnf info and then the name of package. So let's see the information about this grip package. So it will show you various informations about that package like the name, version, release, size, repository, uh, the license and so on. If you type dnf provides the name of the package, then you can see the package name, the repository where that package is located and stuff like that. You can also use the dnf search and the name of the package then it will show you different packages with the exact name with the name and summary masked name masked or summary masked now let's install a new package using this command let's clear the screen first okay so now let's install a package named vim vim so you are familiar with the vi command right vi is the text editor in linux that we have been using in this entire tutorial vim is the improved version of vi so vim stands for vi improved and it is very similar to the vi we can use the vim in the same way that we use vi vim tries to resemble the syntax and semantic of vi command as much as possible but being an improved version Vim adds new commands and features. It also changes the semantic of some VI commands to better match the current expectations of its programmers. And to install the Vim command, the package that we need to install is called vim-enhanced. But first, let's check if we have already installed this Vim command or not. So if we use the which command with Vim, if we have already installed the vim command, then it will show us the path where the executable file for this vim command is located. So let's see if it will return some path or not. Okay, so as you can see, it says no vim in all of these locations where normally the commands are located. So that means we haven't installed this vim command. So to install it, we can use dnf install then the name of the package that is vim-enhanced so as you can see i'm using the root user here and to install the new package we need to be either the root user or the super user and since i'm a root user i don't need to add sudo command here but if you are logged in with some different user than the root then you have to add this sudo command in the beginning okay now let's press the enter now the total size of this package is 7.8 megabytes if you want to install you can press y and then press enter if you don't want to continue the download then you can type n and press the enter so i press the n so the operation has been aborted but now if we use dnf install and add the y attribute and the name of the package so earlier we didn't add the minus y command that's why it asked us if you want to continue the installation or not but if we add the minus y command then it will automatically install this package without asking us whether we want to install or not so let's press the enter So 
So as you can see the installation has been automatically started. Okay, so now it's complete. And now if we use which vim, then you can see it's returning the path where the command is located. Let's clear the screen and let's go to our root directory. Now let's see the example of vim command. So if we create a file named new file that text, so we have this new file that text and to edit this new file that text we can use vim new file dot text and as you can see the vim screen is same as the vi screen so to insert some text we can press i and then we'll go to the insert mode and we can type something in this file so let's type this is the demo of vim command and now to save it we can first press the escape key and then type colon wq press the enter and if you use cat to see the content of this new file text then here is the content this is the demo of vim command okay now if you want to update this vim package you can type dnf update vim let's press the enter so it said nothing to do because we just installed the vim command and we are already using the updated or the latest version of vim so that's why there is nothing to do with this vim command because there is no new update for this package if you type dnf update and press the enter it will update all the packages that are available in your system and it will take a lot of time so i'm not going to use this command right now but let's say if you want to update all the packages except this vim package then you can do that using dnf hyphen hyphen exclude then the name of the package that is vim dash enhanced and then you have to press the asterisk and then you can type update and press the enter so with this command except this vim package all the other packages will be updated okay and now if you want to remove this vim package you can use dnf remove vim dash enhanced let's press the enter and now if you press y so you can see this vim enhanced package has been removed so now if you type which vim then there is no path where the executable file for that vim command is available and all of this dnf command that i showed you you can use all of those commands using the yum command as well because using the yum command in centos 8 is equal to using the dnf command so let's say you want to install that vim package again instead of dnf you can also type yum install and then the name of the package that is vim dash enhanced so since i didn't added the y attribute it will ask you to continue the installation or not so let's press y And now the vim command is back so using this yum or dnf you can install remove and update the different command packages you just need to know the name of those packages and then you can simply install them you can also use rpm for installation and update of different packages but I don't really use this command often you can search about rpm in the google or you will also find lots of videos about this rpm so i'm not going to talk about rpm in this video so more or less we learned about the yum and dnf package manager in this video and it is really important to know how to install update and remove different packages 
because in the Linux, you will have to deal with the packages most of the time. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon with the next video. Till then, keep learning. Goodbye.